Hi, I'm Peter Matavish and welcome back to another DHD tutorial. So as you can see we're finishing off this uh, section B question from 2015 paper. So it is a perspective question and we did part A, we drew in the perspective of that greenhouse. Now we're moving on to parts B and C. So as always it's three truths, so part B. The door is then hinged open as shown in the pictorial view until it's parallel to the picture plane. Uh, on your perspective drawn, show the door in this position. So there you can see it opened out. But what we're going to have to do is work off our plan, okay? So if we're working off our plan up here, we need to put in where the door is. So we put in point G there for the right hand side. So let's put in the other side of the door. Okay, so it's 30 mil. That's well, the measurement, so 30 mil in. So this is the side of the door, and that's the other side. And it's hinged open, so it's parallel to the picture plane. So it has to be parallel to the picture plane, so let's bring that out parallel. And the width of it was our 30 mil. So let's mark that in. Okay, so this is our door here now. So if that's a hinged open parallel to the picture plane, the edge of it, or as our point G was here, is now moved up to there. Okay, so let's bring that point down to the perspective. So as always, join it to the spectator. We're across to the picture plane, project that down. So this is the point here, bring that point down. So that's going to give you the edge of the door. Now because it's parallel to the picture plane, our hinge or our um, top and bottom of the, do of the door will also be parallel to the picture plane. So that means we can bring out the base and the top parallel to the picture plane and that's giving our width back. Okay, so that's the door put in there, that's part B, so let's draw that in strong. Let's probably draw it in here with the green just so it stands out from the rest of the drawing. It's just a small bit of shading there to show that that is part B and that's separate to the original drawing. Okay, so it's parallel to the picture plane, so we could hinge it out parallel to the picture plane there, parallel to the ground line. But the distance out had to be found from the plan. Okay, you had to hinge the door out, rotate it out, and join the end of it then back down to the spectator across the picture plane, brought it down. That's our line here that gave us the distance out. All right, now next part, part C. Okay, so part C. Uh, on your perspective drawn, show the roof window uh, when it has been opened to an angle of 70 degrees. Okay, so a roof window, if you see here on the perspective, is this section of it here. Okay, and we have to show that opened through 70 degrees. Now, if you look at the question, okay, if you look at the elevation, and say this is our roof window, bring it up. So this part from here to here is our roof window. Okay. From the XY line, it's already 35 degrees. Okay. So it's already 35 degrees down this direction. And it said show it opened 70 degrees. So if it's going to be open in 70 degrees, this is 35, and then another 35 will give you your 70. Okay. So you can see here, this 35 would be the same angle as the window open at 70 degrees. Okay, so the window opens 35 and 35 giving you a total 70, and it's already at say minus 35 compared to this one here. So when it's angled at the 70, it's the same angle as the roof there. Okay, so what that means for a drawing is it's hinged here, as you can see in the drawing, it's hinged at this point and that point it's going to be the same angle as the roof here all right and the roof is going to a fashion point so let's follow this down and see where it sooner hit let's follow it down to below vp1 okay so extend down vp1 it's all nice and light now so extend down vp1 and extend down the edge of the roof here to find another auxiliary fashion point See this point here, so we say this is another auxiliary bench point. 
that's if you want. And because our lines are vanishing down that direction, and it's the same angle as the roof, the window here, sorry, the window, the window is the same angle as the roof, so the window here would be angled down the same angle as that auxiliary vanishing point. So draw that up there, that angle. And the same with this point here. Okay, so change at these two points. It is going to be going up at 35 degrees, same angle as our roof, so therefore they're at the same vanishing point. So we'll just connect it all the way up just to show. Alright, so that's the angle of the window. That's it open 70 degrees. But how do we find how far out it goes? Okay. So if we look back at the question again, and even looking at the pictorial. So if it was opened, let you go back to our little sketch here. If it's opened up to flat to the horizontal, because it's rotated up and it's true length there, then it's actually going to be longer than the point there. So when you're looking on the plan, if it was flat, it'd actually be out around there. Okay, but because you're rotating up at the exact same angle as it was rotated down, so you're 35 degrees, it actually be directly above itself again. So if it was open up to 70 degrees, the plan wouldn't look any different. It would be that same line here, okay? Because it'd be directly above each other. You'd rotate out and you'd end up rotating back in to being directly above each other, all right? So given that, to find where it ends here, we just need to bring it going to be directly above our two points here, okay? Same as bring it down from the picture plane initially to find this point here. So bring find that point, bring it straight up. So this is our point here, straight up. That's where it ends. Join that back to VP2. And that's where it ends here, and bring it above that one. And that's the window done, open at 70 degrees. So I'll just put that in with orange so it stands out and then we shade it as well. So draw that in strong. Okay, so that's part C done. So that is part A and part uh, B and C finished off there in that question. So I hope that looks familiar to what you did in, on the day of the exam and that uh, you got it all right. I uh, hope this helped. Uh, if it did, please leave a like and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, thank you and good luck.